Seven nine I two. Nikosi Baba is here with a vital, uh, co-cital uh, topic on His Excellency, His His Majesty, the the Honorable Doctor Sebi. Mm. Baba Sebi, not Doctor. We don't want to be doctors. Um, big up to Baba Sebi. This video is to go a little bit in depth about the true inlook, the true mind that Dr. Sebi really was beneath the layers that may be developed over time with different family members, partners, business partners, etc. Dr. Sebi did not die. Dr. Sebi, Baba Sebi is still being streamed. You're looking at him right now. Um, once we break the illusion of separation. Sebi, his name was not Alfred. They wanted him to be Alfred so he could be a good businessman and own land and sell herbs. Sebi represented God on earth. Literally, if you would just hear some of the things that he said and what he truly felt in his heart, you will really, 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 really grow to love this person, to love this person. Um, most people love him because he's the first black guy to, to cure HIV and to, to sell all these herbs. He made good money. He has shops in Atlanta, Cali, blah, blah, blah. They love him for those Babylon glorious stuff. Nobody talks about what Dr. Sebi really talked about. And that's what Nikosi Baba is about to bring forth in this video. Um, first and foremost, Dr. Sebi was against wearing clothes. He knew that our skin, we're like an animal in a sense that we don't need to put on extra layers. Like our skin wants to breathe. We don't breathe or we're not receiving the optimal amount of oxygen when wearing all of these Babylon fabrics. These garments or these wardrobes have us prepared for Babylon war. It doesn't have us really like fit and promote health and wellness. Dr. Sebi knew that healing wasn't just limited to herbs. He knew that we actually had to actually like be in nature. The cities and all of these things, it's, not, it's what's killing us. It's a shitty. It's making you feel shitty. And I know everybody wants to feel better. And the world ended now. So now you have no other choice. If the truth is in you, you're going to make a move. If not, you're going to be caught in the same repeating cycle. The world is a cycle. Everything that go on, just keep on going. It's like a video game that you turn on again. And you could be logged in at the same space thinking it's a new day. But it's the same program occurring. Now, Dr. Sebi was also very big on living in the bush in Africa, the continent. Um, did he live there? No, I'm not saying that. Though he knew in his mind he had a yearning for it. It's clear that he had some kind of zeal about his mama, his baba, his, his true essence from the source of life. He even has made travels to so-called Africa and has experienced his African brethren and sister. No different than Nikosi, right? One of the first places he went was Kenya. Similar to Nikosi, right? Except I did Ghana, then Kenya. But like, he realized that these people, these so-called Africans are actually bigger slaves than the so-called Africans that were taken from Africa to go be slaves. He realized that these Africans wasn't actually true humans. He knew that they were actually far more deteriorated spiritually than even people that done been through the, the that made it cross the middle passage. Don't take my word for it. Go watch his interviews if you want. The evidence is still on YouTube. Dr. Sebi even knew Baba Sebi. Let me stop saying doctor. Baba Sebi knew that most women in the world were actually like, they're gone. 
They're not even like worth his time. He had a hard time having a proper woman. Even in fact, some of his wives that he dealt with is part of why he ended up selling herbs. Dr. Sebi essentially, he want to go be like the sand bushman. He did want to heal his people, but like not to turn it into like a capitalistic venture. Even this idea of Usha village, initially, he didn't want to turn it into some big package deals and this and that. The women was in control of all of that stuff. It'd be the women that you think is woke. These women is Babylon. He even said in an interview, like, you know, up until the age of 20 or something, I'm paraphrasing, uh, I didn't have no woman because I did not like what I was seeing in women. Like, and I'm just too different. That's me, bro. He said he didn't think no woman can truly love him. Because what woman want to be with a dude that don't want to make money? Answer that. Whoever is watching this, share this with somebody.